so we should be based on everything we should be fine no we should be basically working if everything is correct on on my end i guess and yeah we have it we have the bot working also amazing and great occurrence i guess we have let me see do we have the redeems i can't i can't see them i can't see the f oh no uh, i can't see the redeems what's the problem with this my man uh, give, me, give me a second wait wait i can what I can see my own rims, I guess. Uh, anyways, hello, hello, Panzo. Hello, hello. We're, we're testing a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I guess we should be fine if everything is then correctly working. Supposedly. Mm, no? Yeah, I, I guess so. I will guess. Uh, anyways, anyways, then. If. Mm, yeah. So, sadly, <laughs> I have no more excuses, and um, I also have kind of found a way to continue. What was it that we left on last time? So, yeah, here we are. Hello, everybody. Once again, after, uh, I don't know, like a week, I guess, we, we can finally come back and we can fully answer what was left into, yeah, in the last particular stream as I, I will say a very important question that might as well be necessary for us at the very least to address not because it certainly is the most important thing um, anybody could ever come up with but it has some value that might as well try that to be analyzed because i i have been thinking about it and Although it doesn't really seem to be that important when you don't spend your time thinking on anything at all, when you get the chance of, let's say, wondering why is it that you find yourself kind of the necessity of trying to see and to believe and to understand what can be explained as mm, goals and such, it is that we, we end up having to the yeah the shocking reality of why it also becomes a necessity for anybody to try and um, in any way that we can fully art not simply articulate fully put together something that is comprehensible enough so that we can be satisfied with what we wish to know while also um, seeing the real objectives that we might get or we might set if it is that we don't have them yet so in, in those senses it is that now mm, after kind of having considered what might have been the best possible response to give mm, obviously the, um, as i tried to remain through the whole quote unquote analysis um on partial because i don't think it is necessary for me to say no yeah this one particular view is on the only correct one. Aside from um, always going against, or kind of going against, what might be considered a, an, a speech that might give rise to the desire to not really wish to continue living, let's say. Aside from that, everything else might as well be simply another way to find how to move from the basic question of why it is that in yeah in any orientation you might have in life you are kind of going to find or to try and see let's let's simply argue why will it be worth it for you to in these cases try and i don't know strive for anything i guess S simply strive for anything at all because it always is no obligation for you to do so, but when you find a way in which you can certainly do this, and even more, you find a way in which you can 
not only know that what you're doing becomes what you solidify that so that everybody else who might try to ask you why is it that what you are doing should supposedly be a valid option for you as an individual without um, colliding with the views of any, anybody else well yeah and also taking into account the big chance of i wouldn't simply say somehow disrupting the mm, social normality but rather that you are unavoidably going to get yeah you are going to unavoidably get questioned by reality itself because the social groups in which you find yourself immersed are always going to wish and see if what you supposedly say to be your pathway in life is or isn't truly something that you are going to stick to instead of simply in these cases being a random creation of your mind basically but i i don't know i i think yeah yeah S something along those lines basically why would it be valid instead of not trying to as i as i finished the last stream in particular why wouldn't it be necessary to have it kind of the opposite in this case in trying to positively argument why do we have almost an obligation to try and find it successful to keep going in life after all i mean it always is nice to in, in these cases at the least uh, talking from my own experience a little bit also it was interesting to try and deal with such a topic because i didn't expect to not have a, such a good response as i expected to have or to get so swayed by my own previous ideas in other ways because certainly i was in believing that i had somehow the capacity of getting distracted and getting less appealed by what ended up being the obvious negative ways as in no well you know there is there is nothing that is really worth it and there is nothing that they should consider as necessary and there is nothing that you should wish to do in your life or, or anything like that rather something along the lines of well maybe you, you have uh, as always no obligation of doing anything in particular but maybe if you wish to see why it will be not simply good but rather incredibly beneficial for everybody who is around you as well as those who might in any in any particular way try to support what you are doing and also not yeah not persuade you to stop doing what you wish to do why solidifying all of that will be good instead of the opposite of getting distracted as much as you could by anything else but i don't know i don't know i, I don't think it is in overall it isn't that mm, hard to come up with a proper response i mean as yeah as long as you're willing to deal with such problems you might as well in i would say based on my own experience um in around one month or so really find an answer that is going to be fulfilling the only kind of problem i think that happens or that arises from all of this is that you have to be willing to contradict yourself and to see why the different things that you sustained before might be completely wrong and they might even need to be fully discarded let's say but in doing so it is also that you learn how much of an adventure you can have in a way in which you can not only learn from the past experiences but even more also find yourself submerged in different truly en enjoyable experiences that you can not only wish to remain but also strive to keep experiencing let's say but I, I don't know i don't know i uh, i think that is basically kind of a quick rundown as to why is it that i feel yeah certainly inclined towards finishing this 
in Saga, I think. We can we can call it that, I guess. This saga of streams that ended up becoming out of this. I didn't even think it was going to take me more than one, so certainly weird to see that we ended up taking like three completely different streams to simply explain one short idea or what should have been one short idea. I <laughs> I guess the problem was also that I believed I was more capable of um, boiling down my ideas into more digestible points. And now I can also get a lot why some people might say, oh yeah, you know, if I ever decide to approach this place, I have almost a necessity of not, not having to do anything else because I needed to have a paper in hand to be ready to take notes. Certainly, yeah, I sadly go too much into into loops about what I am talking about and what not. So uh, I can't really say sorry. I do enjoy it a lot and I also find it incredibly liberating to do one of these things as much as I do them. So we will keep doing them in that way because of those reasons. But I will wish to be a little bit better, I guess. <laughs> Do not have to deal so much with the consequence of my own capabilities in the sense of, yeah, I may not really have a chance at um, surviving, let's say, when it comes to not getting mentally strained by anything that isn't simply talking, I, I guess. But I don't know, I don't know. Um, yeah, th that is... So far, what I can say in respect to all of the things that are going to happen here, kind of, I, I said it before, kind of a short introduction. Um, here were also, yeah, something interesting that happened was a video had an update into supposedly the 2.0 version, supposedly, I don't know. So it should be working little bit better some problems have been fixed yeah so i hope we can we can have a, a smoother experience but i don't really have a way to check all of that so far i guess we are fine and if we are not i can't really tell so far yeah i, I had some problems that i learned how to fix in the middle of everything um, just as i was about to stream uh, so yeah, that is also certainly something interesting to see. Um, but aside from that, everything else seems to be working so far, I don't know. We should pray for that to remain the same, if it is possible. And yeah, uh, something else? I guess I'm... Let me... Well, obviously, I kind of have said it before. <laughs> Sadly... Uh, in real life occupations, school, um, trying to learn other tools and trying to overall stay alive has been consuming myself from the inside. So yeah, um, <laughs> we don't have that much of a capacity of staying in cases like this one. Um, or what? In cases like those ones or consistently streaming. But I I also wish I had a more capacity of disciplining myself. So we are, we are trying to go for that. And we are trying to go back into a more properly scheduled life in, in every single term. Certainly because it doesn't simply happen that I don't have it ordered when it simply comes or only when it comes to streaming. Everything else is also kind of at random and... I have a lot of freedom that I shouldn't have or spread around different activities that I shouldn't have it. But anyways, that is my own problem. It's something that I should deal with in my own free time. Now we are simply once again here to occupy ourselves with something interesting and something a lot more beneficial than just being absent-mindedly 
considering stuff that I should fix instead of really doing anything about them. So yeah, um, once again, just in case, after the 15 minute mark, wow, um, here we are, here we are. <laughs> I guess, yeah, now we can say for real that we have no more, no more things to, to add into what I said before. So, with that said, now, I guess, we can, for real, transition into what is our actual latest objective in all of this short, quote-unquote, journey that has been um, dealing with an interesting question, I guess. So, yeah. Um, just again. Once again. Hello, everybody. Hello, lurkers or watchers, viewers, everybody. Um, also, sorry. I, I think I said it, just in case. If I didn't say it, after like 15 minutes, um, <laughs> hello Pansu, sorry, my bad if I didn't say it, certainly my bad, sorry. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, transition, wow, I, I announced the transition and after that I do it, I am such an amazing mm, potato, wow, so I guess at, at this time I don't, I don't have an excuse as to why I shouldn't try to cover everything that we can see over here so yeah let me hello Krita are we crashing Krita are we working Krita yeah we're working oh, oh okay there it is um, so we should try to explain everything that we have over here because as I said before, it ended up taking like two, and this should be the final stream that we go to this topic. Should be, if I don't um, derail even more. Um, so, we, we started with the main idea of how it is that we can try to understand what is all of this concept born from, as it says here, um, the bubble of things that can be contained instead of the definitions of hope, objectives, will, goals, whatever it is that you use to refer to those moving factors that help you to keep yourself mobilized towards the future or towards the advancement of your own life instead of deciding that it isn't anymore worth it to keep overall sustaining yourself, I guess. So yeah. After that, we ended up dealing with the first question that was if it is in any way necessary and obviously trying to connect that with what is unavoidably something related that is why is it that we have it in a sense in which why is it that, that as human beings we find it something that we can't um, not have and not find in our lives let's say because yeah something very very interesting is that for example you can always realize that it can be described as some type of this disease or abnormality to not be somebody who finds inside of themselves the capacity to self-motivate towards the different objectives that they have so those both questions have the first answer that is over here that end up being we can't really have a proper response as to why it happened. We certainly don't have any completely factual way in which we can say, no, yeah, these are all the different things that happen, and these are all the different reasons that make it be so. So we can only speculate why is it that we end up having this condemnation, opportunity, we don't fucking know. But what we can say at the very least is that even if we do not comprehend why it would be in any way necessary and why would we shy why would we should try to have it we can move towards the objective of seeing if we can mm -hmm. possess this and take advantage of this as something that ends up being necessary for our, our existence or not but in the consideration of this, it is also that we end up finding another bigger question that is, if we can in any way whatsoever try to avoid it, and certainly we can't. So, seeing all of those different questions, 
concert and finally put together we can move from all of this I would, I would say yeah certainly um, left side of the picture I guess or image I, I don't know whiteboard I, I don't know how to call it canvas I don't know um, we can we can say that yes so many of the principal questions can't be fully transform or explain in a way in, in a way in which we mean that so far as humans we don't even have the capacity of answering why it is that happens that we somehow have it but at the very least we can try from our conscious side mm, to explain it so now doing it and properly trying to fulfill all role <laughs> we can say that why is it that we will want to keep these qualities in our lives instead of deciding in any way particular to not have them and to avoid the usage of them and the first deviation that we do mm, kind of a very short one is obviously to remark that certainly we see it as human beings as a necessity to have and as something that you should strive to always maintain mm, through different ways you, you can always make sense of this because you can consider how it is necessary for a society to have different mm, driving factors how it is for an individual necessary for them to find reasons to keep obviously going and throughout so many other different concepts why one thing or another end up needing a reasons to be so we can't not continue answering this without first accepting that yes throughout so many things we see it as necessary that although we don't really have the capacity of saying why would we as individuals want something like this we can at the very least say that the overall unconscious notion that exists about this is certainly the one of approval and the one of even yearning and the bigger and funnier thing is always obviously the reality of not only it is that we yearn for something of this but even more that we believe it is almost an obligation for us to try and give it to others if we realize that they don't have it so yeah in this case we see that side first and now going back into this into the main question as to why would we in any way want to cultivate create find maintain or hope whatever um, we can conclude or we can after analyzing some so many of the different cases that exist out there that certainly when we have a tool of this kind and when we find ourselves accessing what can be described as the quality of being hopeful it is that we can realize how much we end up obtaining a driving force and a factor that ensures our existence in a way in which the consistency of the different actions that we do and the different measurements that we take for the sake of our survival gets obviously strengthened so we can thus so far say that at the very least it brings so many different advantages that it might be as well something that we can see i wouldn't say simply as a necessity but rather as an incredibly useful commodity so now obviously something funny enough is why would we in this case then try to talk about what is only the good if we can also see what would be the different disadvantages of all of this because at least from the perspective of someone as i said before who tries to predicate that this is important and all of those things from that particular perspective we can see that then that yeah certainly all of this is also in a, in a particular way something that if it doesn't really get fulfilled has its consequences on the individual, on the society, on whatever. The first one, we, are, we have simply two points, that is, the first one being the, quote unquote, lots of interest, in the sense that 
who end up always in the feeling like anything end up being in any way whatsoever truly worth worthful worthwhile in an, in any particular shape or form truly a necessity for us to undergo and at the very least an entertaining activity to realize so yes we can consider and we can conclude that the first consequence is that we end up in a way almost detaching ourselves from what is the reality as we have no real sensation that might drive us towards I wouldn't simply say the enjoyment of existing but I, I so far we can't fully define all of these things it simply happens that when you lack the quality of hope you lose the capacity of finding interest in anything that exists in this terrestrial world i guess because not only it happens that you you find yourself in a place like this when you lose the quality of hope if you end up driving yourself towards something that tries to resemble hope but end up being simply another way to feel that gall of the void that we all as conscious beings carry inside of ourselves and you believe that to be true you will only increase the desires for something that is outside of this realm of existence i will say so yeah i don't know how much of a um, simple avoidance of not having hope it is that we can say contributes to losing losing different interests that we might have throughout this reality of ours and also even more sadly we can't even see say conclude no or fully articulate why it will be in any way whatsoever a, necess a necessity for us to not follow those negative ones as we're obviously not trying to create an argument that might um, solidify the different ideas born from trying to live this reality in which we exist so far but obviously it doesn't contribute in any way and the second point is also what we ended up calling the devastation of the self of the individual in some cases almost of the ego because it happens that when you have no real interest for which you strive and for which you work and put your time towards it basically you end up sadly finding out that you might as well serve no purpose at all and that you might even have the freedom supposedly of taking what is in these cases your own life because certainly there is nothing else interesting for you and there is nothing worthwhile that you can bring to any particular field of reality by contributing your efforts or putting them at the very least towards some possible contribution some potential contribution so certainly when we lose what is the main core of hope this worst idea that is born from all of this is the reality in which we i wouldn't simply say decide to believe it it is a more complex idea than just that but sadly that we get deluded into believing that yes we have no possibility of finding what can be a great use of our time so yes sadly the devastation of our own self is unavoidable in these cases kind of obviously as always with different um, mixtures and such but so far that uh, now let me set in because after that after explaining the different negative consequences of not seeing hope as a necessary driving factor for ourselves we can move into the second one that is how we can try to cultivate something like that but um, before doing so let me grab a drink some water
increasing hydration. Anyways, yeah. So, um, we explained the how to. No, sorry, what? <laughs> sorry, what? And we explained the how to. We just explained the different consequences. And obviously, not only of not having it, but also of why utilizing this tool because beneficial for you. So, yeah. Consequences, basically. Now, when we was said before, how? to cultivate, to create, to maintain anything of this sort. So, um, you started from this inner, let's say, quote-unquote circle, um, into the outer one that is, yet, the ramifications of this main, one, two, three, four, five, six, six concepts, I guess. Um, so, let me start. Um, the first and most important thing it is, as always, mm, when we have the capacity of comprehending what different things become beneficial for our own existence and for different goals that we might have, it is that we can see then how maintaining them, increasing them, or losing them in the, in the paths of achieving our goals becomes a worthwhile thing to do. In this case, it, it also is a real thing that you might in no way whatsoever yearn for anything of this sort as you might not even have a clear comprehension or view as to why you might put your time towards creating or as I said before creating maintaining um, any of these different things but obviously it all comes with time. If you can't endure the process of having it, you usually go back into different consequences of it. So, after explaining the first main idea as to why it is first and foremost almost a necessity for us to explain all of these things, we can move into the second. And I wouldn't simply say most important one but simply the one that needs no further explanation and that is when you find different tools like this one and when you can argument properly what you wish for and what you keep yourself alive for in a manner in which no matter which question you face you know that you're going to come out with a proper answer and you're going to come out with a proper response that will keep you still striving for the different objectives that you have. When you have something of that sort set up properly, you can now ensure on the rest of your days that everything that you do will be as solid as your intentions. And not only it is that you will now exist and keep existing, but Kind of even if it is too much of an obvious assessment, you avoid not being driven by nothing at all and not being lost in what is the sea of reality in which we live. So certainly it has a lot of different ways in which you can see it as a beneficial thing to have instead of simply saying, no, well, you know, I might as well not, not even try to have this thing happening to me because... I, I may mean, not um, have such a, such a good experience. One is there, for example, um, there are a lot of different things that you can try to explain um, throughout the simple example of because I stopped doing a certain thing, I gained access to a certain different one. So I, I guess to simply try to put a few of them in front of us, because it simply isn't uh, beneficial to simply mention, yeah, you might have the chance of doing so. Um, you can experience go by uh, having religious belief. You can, by following them and knowing that they are truly useful to you, avoid what ends up being almost a sin and therefore abide the different rules that apply to your beliefs. And by doing so, it is that you can ensure you are going to gain the different advantages and or favors that are brought to you 
by keeping your faith in this one thing that you started believing or decided to keep believing despite every, every other thing in the world and trying to tell you that it isn't worth doing so as well as it is for example to someone who is more mm, yeah who is more cemented on this particular in world and who has a more mundane view of things if you believe that it is, it is necessary for you to have a, a perfect body when you realize how much of a necessity it is for you to take care of what you possess as an individual in the sense of your physique and different things that compose and that end up giving you the results of what is your physique you stop also in consuming so many things that are beneficial for your health end up being mm, in no way whatsoever uh, mm, truly a contributing factor towards your survival or can in any way also boost your different goals as in for example if you decide to be fit you shouldn't try to be so much of the time not moving because you certainly know that by mm, keeping yourself still you can't be in any way mm, feasible fit because fitness doesn't really come simply for from eating not not that much food but also from moving different parts of your body and to keeping them active and so on and so forth as well as it happens that in a deeper sense you can also experience how by starting to believe what are the different uh, concepts born from the benefits of living in a society in, in which the different of this truly play a crucial role on its development you stop being such supposedly a worthless being because now you accept your part as another moving gear of this whole concatenation of events and when you also see yourself as something of this sort in a in such a complex world you can come up with different responses that serve all of these ideas in a way in which you can say now that truly what you are doing and what you are putting yourself in in risk of is worth enough and rewarding enough so that you can keep doing it despite everything else not truly giving you the possibility of knowing if it was good or not so you can as i said before see it from so many perspectives without really delving in any of them that you get kind of how solidifying in this case as it, it is said on the first one solidifying what you know drives to showing you ways in which you now almost have the certainty that you should fully keep living therefore when you know that you should fully keep living you stop being somebody who has no possibility of defending themselves against different questions that get posed by life to you and in a different pathway of this it also happens that funnily enough when we gain the capacity of finding ourselves or inside of ourselves all of the different mm, parts of what can be described as hope when we find all of them we end up Really getting into a comfort zone that can be described as the habit that is born from using such a tool consistently in our life because amazingly enough it is just another tool that you find and that you polish more and more the more you keep using it so the more you can in this case the easiest way to see it is the more you can say something confidently the more confidence you will keep having on it because you know that what you said before was not disproved by reality but rather sustained at the very least as something that in some way could be real so as long as it isn't proven to being wrong you can't in any way whatsoever say that it is obviously wrong so who why would you try in any way whatsoever now try to disprove this one idea if you know that it is so real that nothing so far has come even close to throwing it throwing it off so yeah once again all of these things simply contribute towards the creation 
what is a proper concept and what is a proper understanding of these fields in life. And obviously the second part that gets born kind of from the same line is thirdly in this world of ours in different realities that surround our world we end up noticing also something kind of funny and that is we are never alone so we might as well try to mingle with other human beings and when we do so we might find out that some of them might be interested in getting ourselves aligned to what they believe because we might contribute towards their own, towards the different objectives that they have, towards the different um, selfish desires that um, they might try to satisfy. So when we can, in this case, once again, create a habit of having some type of hope we can see how others might try to do this thing on us and by understanding what we are observing we develop the capacity of discerning if what we have in front of us is truly good or not so moving to the third one um, <laughs> we end up in the last main part or main cover part of this how to have faith in anything in one second i repeat faith hope um and driving purpose whatever it is that you want to find it does um, we end up finding ourselves that when we can create something so incredibly malleable with the different things that we see in life we also obtain the capacity of being shapeable around the different situations that happen in this world because the world is obviously something that has almost no way of of being fully predicted as long as you don't have the capacity of divinating what is going to happen because you are never alone and you don't ever know what other things outside of your expectations others might to do so certainly it is almost an obligation for us to try and see how it is that we can try to not get once again in these cases so moved by what happened because of others in our own reality so in this case it kind of gives us while you are more flexible a more solid base to keep knowing what is it that we are here for and why is it that we can say confidently that we keep doing things for so yes that those are as i said before the six main supposedly attributes that can kind of drive you towards understanding why or how it is that you can try to create something of the sort of hope so with that out of the way we can now go into the middle circle that is first and foremost going back into what is learning <laughs> sadly if you are willing to learn you should be willing to deal with realities that are going to be stronger than the ones in which you actually habitate because sometimes we have the luxury of finding questions that we are proposing to ourselves answered by others and although sometimes those answers might be sufficient enough so that we can fully say that certainly one of the main questions that we have in our lives was answered in other cases it might happen that those questions might not only be so incredibly incredibly complex for us to understand that we might have to spend so much time trying to make sense out of what we just experienced but we also sadly kind of have to observe that some of the responses might drive us 
to say unavoidable reality of having to confront what we believed to be true before as now something that can only be described as a falsehood that should be corrected and something that we have to rework for the sake of continuing having hope in anything at all. So obviously this means, as it says here, that we are going to experience an incredible amount of stress if we decide to try and explain, comprehend, and once again fully put supposedly into paper what is it that we believe in or why is it that we believe in something. So yes, that is the explanation of this one point. And <laughs> so before I continue, uh, and before I forget, hello Savannah, I, I hope you're doing well. Um, here we are, trying to explain all of this uh, craziness that, that we have in front of us. Um, give me a second. So yeah, there it is. That is basically the first thing of the middle circle. Continuing with the second one, born from the concept that is that when you develop the capacity of utilizing the tool that is hope, you end up developing the habit of using it, and the habit of having this tool means that you have an easier time using it, basically. Now, the more and more complex explanation is, as it says here, is the more you can utilize this habit, the more it becomes solidified in your own existence, so the more you can say that things are the way in which you see them being, and the way in which you see them being fits into not only what you experience, but what also others might experience, means that after so many tries, and after so many different questions that get, as I said to you, proposed and asked, and kind of confronted to your own reality, you can still not be swayed because you know and because you experience even more the incredible capacity of not losing yourself in what um, everyone else kind of tries to propose to you. But it is still something mm, truly interesting and truly beneficial for you. So. In no way whatsoever you should try to not have something of this sort. But at the very least it is still as entertaining as it can get because it means that you can have an easier time the more you can keep using the tool that makes it easier. So why not try it? I would say. And well, I for continuing, I hope so now that you're fine. And, and I hope that if it is late and you should sleep, please you can go to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I, w I will say, please don't neglect your sleeping schedule. After uh, so many nights of taking care of it, I can assure you that it it is certainly a rewarding experience to, <laughs> to sleep properly and to sleep enough hours as much as you need. I will say, I, I wouldn't simply say, no, yeah, you need... Uh, X amount, as much as you need. That is, that is a good measurement. The best one, I guess. But yes, uh, please. Thank, thanks for being here still. Um, so, now, with both of those things said and out of the way, we can continue into the third and last part of the middle layer, and that is how we can see that after comprehending what is being told to us and what might be a question made for the sake of simply trying to sway ourselves out of the different hopes, beliefs, objectives that we set for our lives, we also gain the capacity not only of discerning them, but observing when somebody tries to approach ourselves and stop them from in any way whatsoever doing so because you have already dealt be it in practice or in, 
unconsciously made a scenario in which you notice that these things might be questioned for you and for the different things that you say you're going to do. By doing so, it is that you can now see, as I said before, why would you have no necessity whatsoever of leaving these things behind, but rather trying so much to maintain them and to not be, as it says here, moved by something else that is completely outside of your own reality. So yeah, that is the last explanation. You become a more solid and more grounded object in this reality and obviously even more in your own reality so the main part of art of this is that when you can justify things enough you can not only justify them so that you know they are true but you can maintain yourself solid even when somebody is trying as hard as they can to disprove that what you are saying is supposedly the truth so yes it ends up obviously being the most beautiful benefit of them all that is the only thing that we can extract from all of these middle middle ground ideas that is when you can be so grounded into your own reality and when you can make everything else make so much sense you have the capacity of never feeling like all of the things that you're doing are meaningless because you went and you acquire the capacity of knowing that what you are doing is no matter what everyone says worth it no matter what everything else tries to prove to you something fully 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 worth it so by having all of these different measurements into consideration you can now kind of see how it is that you can maintain create or mobilize yourself towards trying to attain something minimally resembling what is the concept of hope objective faith whatever it is that you want to call it so yes that was basically the basic explanation for all of this but uh, give me a second because I, I i still don't know the what is it it's a uh, it's i don't know the that don't crash this is, this is the best i i love Krita. certainly love Krita. Krita, we want to crash. Did we not crash, Krita? Okay, th thank you, Krita. My man. <laughs> it, it isn't really that much, but it's still funny to see that we must crash every single time that you sc I use Krita. Anyways, um, with all of those things said, and with all of those things explained, we can now get into the part of why is it that we created something like this and why is it that it was born and why is it that we can try to see it as something that is kind of unavoidable because even if we can't say that we have a hundred percent sure the proper response for this we can still even in our places of simple-minded individuals vision why things like this happen and the first and foremost simplest explanation is as every other animal does the simple desire to keep existing and to keep reproducing ourselves for the sake of the survivability of our species has been so ingrained into ourselves that since we were almost bacteria we have a wish like this and we have always maintained this one primal instinct for the sake of obviously doing even more for the sake of as i said before proliferating so yes the animal realm isn't really that complex and you can truly see why something of that sort would be like that but now and this is where i fail so incredibly hard for it happens that as rational beings we also have the capacity of noticing so many things in this world that when the one is creating the necessity of explaining things for the sake of not believing that what we are doing isn't really worth it because the world is such a complex land that when 
we as human beings don't find something that can define it all fully into something that can be grasped in any way whatsoever. That's it. We can completely sustain no matter what happens. Obviously, now, when we do it so, and when we might take it in a proper way, we can say that it was all worth it. But it simply, at least in this explanation, it simply is given as, oh, well, yeah, uh, we have a necessity for explaining things because we're rational, and because if we can rationalize something, um, it doesn't make sense, and we can sit still with the rational living inside of our own rational world, things and that. Before giving the real response to this, now we can deal with what was first and foremost proposed by what Forms. All of this <laughs> incredibly deranged explanation about hope and desires and objectives and whatever. That was me uh, doing a little bit of, a, of an observation on what was Albert Camus and his theory about the rational man and the rational world, in which somebody is capable of, while it is irrational, not making sense out of it and because he doesn't even sorry because the human doesn't even try to rationalize to rationalize the world it doesn't even try to be affected by what is brought by the irrationality of it that can't be in any way whatsoever fully articulated because at least so far in this reality in which we have it there are so many different things that we might never really explain for the average rational human being, accepting those things as irrational means that they have to confront the worst reality of knowing that the irrational world is unavoidable so far. So yeah, that is basically what Albert Camus proposes, that we can somehow fit ourselves into the role of somebody who understands that they can be irrational without more of a deeper explanation on my side and that was kind of the worst error that I could have made because here is where I got lost in my own um, random ideas and such so here is where I <laughs> I hope to come and finally put a terminating explanation about all of this because as I said before also I have fully responded all of this I have found a response for all of this that fits so far with what I know and makes it still plausible enough so that I don't feel like what I am going to say now is in some way still lacking something. So, a uh, cliffhanger. Uh, I have to take another break. Give me a second. Uh, thank you, thank you for your patience. Uh, you know, sadly, I have to do that. So yeah, I don't know, like give me a second. Wow! No wait, wait no. Hey, ah, ah, no. Give uh, me a second.
So yeah, eh, here we are. We are so far done with the recapitulation of everything else. And it took me like an hour, I think. Let's see. Yeah, like an hour, almost exactly, I think it was. So we, we don't have anything else to worry about. Now <laughs> we can progress into something a little bit deeper, I guess. G give me a second. Uh, fuck. So, um, I don't know this, but uh, yeah, we, we had a tiny problem with that. That was amazing. Anyways, uh, wait, which one was it? Which one was it? Hello? Oh, I, I lost Krita. Ah, okay, okay, there it is. Uh, so, I, I, give me a second because I drink water, so let me do that before continuing with this. Give me a second, sorry. Give me, give me another second. Anyways, here we are. So, the ending point for all of these explanations was that quote unquote sadly you realize when you take into consideration what is the rational mind you realize that there is a part of our actual being that always wishes to keep being rational so if we want to live in a rational world we almost have the obligation of explaining all of the different things to through a rational explanation. So it happens that even what in this case Albert Camus proposed was supposedly a rationalization of the world outside of ourselves. So it means that somehow we have supposedly no real way of making sense out of anything outside of our rationality. Because even if we, in this case, for example, even if we think that the animal realm is coded in such a way, all of the different things that we do can be only a self-serving bias that might simply fully, in this case obviously, fulfill the role of saying that, wow, this is true, and this is because it is true, something that I should fully believe to be real. So, now, should I keep doing my work and should I keep putting my efforts towards believing all of these things? Or should I stop being so rational? And the sad reality was obviously that if you stop being rational, you have to confront the quote-unquote realist reality of if you don't rationalize why you are here the only proper response in that case is you might as well not even try to be here because there supposedly is no real explanation as to why we are here and why do we have a necessity over hope and anything of that sort but as i said so far that was the fully incomplete explanation or I think it was almost like at the middle point of all of this. Because now let, let's see how this continues. And before starting with a proper answer, I think at, at this day and age, it is almost impossible to negate this that we also have. social side <laughs> in, in which we find so many other different responses that make supposedly all of these words that we can't in any way whatsoever say that this isn't this one way as it means that all of these things represent not only what we as individuals believe, but 
also what we deciding whichever um, time you are referring to tribes uh, civilizations societies uh, social groups whatever it is that you wish to use once again as it is the same with wow you, you have hope you have objectives you have faith whatever it is um, different social circles in which you find yourself also have an attracting factor towards making a valid point as to why it is that the existence of one particular individual is necessary and it doesn't really happen that this can be simply associated with animals because sadly in the real animal world there are I wouldn't simply say a lot, because certainly there might be a tendency towards being social animals, but there are enough examples to realize that not everyone has a desire to be social, and not everyone has an interest on keeping themselves um, associated or next to others, because it even might represent a loss if they do so. And it might represent that their survival is not going to be ensured. So, social explanation isn't simply given by the animal realm. It is more born out of, and now let me put it here. Also, hey, hello, welcome. I, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you have a nice karaoke. <laughs> ah. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, you can do it. You can redeem whatever you want. But if you redeem a song right now, I am in the middle of an explanation. So you might as well have to wait, eh, my man. <laughs> you can do it. But um, <laughs> I, I am doing this because I I have a, an unpaid debt that I needed to fulfill. So you can redeem whatever you want. Twinkle, twinkle, what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is a... There is a complete song about that. <laughs> what? I know that there is... I mean, I know the, the one in Spanish. I don't know if there is even a, a complete song about Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. And I mean... I don't know if there is a karaoke for that. I, I guess I will have to search, search for it. I don't know. Anyway, let's continue with this. Uh... But uh, also, obviously, thank, thank you for to, for your recommendation. <laughs> Sustains the
Okay, here it is. We finally have a... Also, wait. I mean... Sadly, I think. I will... I, yeah, I don't know how long I will spend trying to explain all of this. So... I, I hope you're gonna stay up awake for when I finally <laughs> finish with this and I do seem to continue a little star. <laughs> but uh, sorry for that. I, I guess today was quote unquote a bad day. Better for me because maybe if you're asleep, I, I won't have to sing it. You know? but, but anyways. Um, now, this. As I said before, we have, before really giving this a conclusion, we have the reality that also we are social animals. And as I try to explain, we observe that when the society itself tries to define what is hopes and tries to give a way in which you can obs I think I said it before, not simply observe but be part of a hope of a hopeful lookouts through which you can make sense of the world then you gain the capacity of sustaining that society and also obviously sustaining yourself if it is that it's fit for the society the role which you are playing so it means that the society defines something else that might be outside of the rational realm of the individual because 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 <laughs> it wants to keep itself afloat in this whole world in which there is a lot of things but only one society so it means that obviously Different societies will find different reasons as to why they are necessary. So, you can see therefore that it is truly something worth trying to have and trying to not deal with later on. Because once again, in, in this case, just, just if it were to be necessary, uh, if a society hasn't fully explained different questions as to why they exist in the sad reality of noticing that mm, there might be other explanations that could not truly explain what they are in where they are end up leading them to notice that sadly what they are doing now was in no way whatsoever truly beneficial or truly mm, worth it so we can never fully know if these things are this way only because of the different reasons that we can see but at the very least we can notice that the explanations given that by societies might not fully align with the ones that we come up with as the society itself almost after a certain amount of existing beings inside of it gains what can be called the societal consciousness in which the narrative becomes supposedly a self-serving one in which the reasonings behind their actions always try to encourage the survivability and the proliferation of this one instead of anything else so once again yeah society has different objectives different goals hopes and whatever else from the individual so i i guess just in case if you can realize this point it also means that you can see later on why having this into account might lead you towards realizing how you can try to change societies because it is almost an obligation for you to try and live what a society is postulating as, as a good thing to have if you can point out correctly and hardly enough for the whole society and different members of it to realize that what they were wishing or was unnecessary and damaging to the wholeness of it so yeah th that is basically this quote-unquote explanation as to why society is necessary sadly we can't once again repeat we can't never fully know if this is like this or not 
when it comes to a society, because societies it themselves gain what is this conscious mass that gets born from the different optics hold held sorry inside of it. And yeah, I mean obviously we can't we can't ever try to negate that we live in a society. Even if you even if you try to not live in a society, you become simply part of those of the society of those who believe that they shouldn't belong to society. The problem with society it is that aside from its main definition of something that um, serves the purpose of holding people inside of it, you have also the deeper, quote-unquote deeper, um, explanation of, of it in which you can simply see how different people might align themselves towards one type of belief or might find themselves allured to one type of belief. So you can't in no way live without a society at least in this day and age. At some other point, I think it could have been possible. I remember, for for example, one of the questions that I postulated before was, why would we ever try to care for society if we can, by noticing that we have this tendency towards being rational, derive to the conclusion that we can even try to simply live in a world in which only our own existence is fulfilled and only in yeah in which only our own subsistence is also secured as in we grow enough food we gather enough water and we have a comfortable enough place to keep living until the end of our existence comes so it simply means that you are one same as I said before trying to change your actual society into the one that believes it is capable and necessary for you to not associate with the rest as you might as well simply be serving your own narrative and fulfilling the different objectives that you have set only for yourself so society becomes a harder term than simply wow we live in a big city or we live in a small village, not not so simply. Yes, it is true that we live in a society, but in which way we see it is in which way we can properly say that we live in one. But uh, without <laughs> further uh, yeah, bifurcations in the pathway towards a proper response, now, having all of these three explanations given, I mean, just, just in case, there might also be, instead of a society, for example, nowadays, what could be expressed as a monetary factor or as an, yeah, I, I don't know, as a material explanation, whatever else. It simply is another way in which society, quote unquote, manipulates you. It doesn't really change anything at all, because if it weren't something that was created by society itself, we could try to postulate this, but it isn't that out of nowhere we find ourselves having money instead of societies, as if it was some kind of virus that was created without any real explanation, without any traceable in previous iteration of it, no. The concept of money was something that was born inside of society and the concept of transactions and exchange of goods for services was also something that existed almost since different animals started being capable of socializing between themselves because there is always someone who is going to do something that you might take benefit of and if you can while doing so establish a relationship in which both things obtain some kind of benefit not only the one who gives you a benefit but also you give a benefit to the one who gives you something in return these different type of relationships and, and establish connections become so the norm so yeah um society once again is the explanation for that not that wow money is a completely different way of finding hope
die is een nou, for the sake of this particular argument, no, for the sake of simple explaining how you might find hope in being alive, yeah, you can, you can be fully motivated to simply have as much money as you can, in as much of your life as you can also enjoy it, but it doesn't really mean that, it isn't driven by other things, as I said before, but yeah, um, now, 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 also, I never checked, is this properly seen, uh, let me give a second, it should be properly seen, no, I didn't, I didn't check if, if it was properly watchable or not, or if it crashed, because, it might have crashed without me, no, not crashed, sorry, it might not have loaded, because, it's kind of a, what is it, transparent, background i know but okay it works somehow it doesn't collide with anything else somehow i guess nice moment to notice anyways <laughs> so we have all of these things as i said before now for real continue with the proper explanation of this Wait. Yeah, let's make it like this instead because it is going to be easier. Okay, there it is. Now, here. Or, mm, it is kind of the same, you know? This symbol, I don't know what's... This, this one. There it is. When we can consider the different factors that bring society... Society? I have said so many times society that it, it infected my mind. Shut up, I am... Oh my god. After considering there's so many different forming factors behind the possible reasons as to why we could try to explain this, we can now loosely try to connect, not knowing if we are going to be capable or not, try to connect these different explanations into something that makes sense at all and see. How real response lies behind all of those things. And give me a second because I need to think how to put it into words. Um, I will take water. Okay, I think I have it. I think I don't really know.
did use this word or what? No. Okay, um, there, there might be, I think, so far from different words that I use here. Like, I don't know, um, six, seven different words that could be completely interchangeable with others, like. I mean, as I had been saying, hope equals um, hope meaning um, interest, objectives, fate, whatever you want to call it. The same thing happens here. Um, but wait, yeah. Did you ever find the guitar riff again? No, I, I, I didn't find the original one. I, I mean, I have the, the file saved, thank God. But I didn't, I didn't find the original one. I was talking with a friend and we found who was the artist, but I, I tried skimming through his videos and he has like, the, the problem is he has a, an account where his stuff was archived and there, there are like a thousand different videos. If, if it wasn't for that, I would have found it easier. But... <laughs> I stopped searching after like the 200 or so because my brain got tired. And after that, I never want to have to really look for it. I mean, we still have it. And I don't think this guy, this Asian random guy is going to get angry at me because I use like a short clip of his whole guitar play video where he shows his skills. But yeah. I, I can try to search for it later on, because I don't remember who was it that made it to be released. But, yeah, continuing with this uh, explanation is, certainly, you can interchange a lot of words. It is simply another uh, phrase that holds inside of it a lot of different things that might be concepts which you can interchangeably put here. So, um, no, it, it wasn't the syndrome. It, it wasn't, it wasn't. But, as it says, what? Ah, um, Mr. Where Wham, Mr. 305, Dad, yeah, and today I just want to tell you, you that me may we'll turn up and see. Yeah, hello, Michelin. I thank you for the ride. I I wish I hope you have a great stream. Once again, thank you. Well, if you want to tell us what you do, if you want to tell us what happened, here we are with um, just a short explanation. And <laughs> as to what ends up being the necessity of what is the concept of hope and all of that, you know? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope you had a, a great stream, as I said. I, I don't remember even see what was it that you were playing today. So I, I'm sorry for lacking that information this time around. But I know you, you don't talk about it. I mean, yeah, yeah. You said that you had one. So thanks, thanks for it. Um, Later on, yeah, yeah, later on I will be singing. I don't know when, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't go for that. Then it is going to happen later on. I don't know so far on when. I don't even have clear how much this is going to take me. But yeah, um, at some point or another of this, the stream probably when this is uh, almost mm, reaching its end point, I will do my singing. See, see it. Okay, there it is. I forget. And so, shout out. As I, as I said, thank you for the ride. <laughs> now, continue with this. Um, well, kind of in a nice time. Um, we're dealing simply with the final explanation as to why we can try to see or say that hope is necessary for us, and that is. As living beings, with not simply the capacity, but also the ability of 
finding out why is it that we are in this whole world we obtain let's say um, the most entertaining challenge of, of all that is to make sense out of all the things in which we find ourselves in Mars so that the world in which we are existing now is fully explorable for us because we can see it as something that becomes worth of the adventure of being explored let's say now all of these different things mean that simply as an individual we gain the capacity of not simply losing ourselves in the thought of why is it that we might wish to go for something else but also why is it that we might want to keep on delving more and more into different explanations of the world and why is it that in our case as beings that can even more utilize their capacities to understand more and more the different mm, almost founding matters and founding reasons of this whole universe we can keep saying and properly defining them so that not only us in the present but also those who are to come and those who existed before us might also see it as true and by continuing this whole creation we end up reaching a point in the future in which everything was supposedly fully explained because the capacity that holds the human of rationalizing the things is the one that so far no other animal has and that is to give sense to what was at some other point in no way whatsoever fully explainable um, <laughs> that i think is kind of the explanation here hey hello very sorry sorry for taking so long <laughs> I was trying to get the idea out, uh, but yeah, you know, I think, I don't know if it is understandable even, but something along those lines is kind of the explanation for all of this. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, basically, in another way, I, th I think I can try to put it in different words just in case, but it's something like reality can also be defined by the different reasons that you decide to give it and when you take the, ad the adventure head on of trying to define it as something that not only you can experience but others might see as a real you need the capacity of noticing how every single thing becomes intertwined in a way in which your experience is not only yours and is completely subjective but the more and more things fall into place the more it is that you can say that there exists a certainty behind actions patterns and different actual objects inside of this world because when you can study enough and when you can delve, delve enough into the different ideas that are sorry into the different concepts that form our universe it is that then you can say that they have always been capable of being explained and by taking upon that challenge it is that you also see not only you have that capacity as an individual but also everyone else who came before and who we came after you therefore in this case i think that this becomes also a reason as to why you might find the hope for your existence to decide to continue with this objective not only by explaining things to you but also by clearing a pathway forward for those who might come after you so that they can know why different things are a certain way you can give an easier time towards the unavoidable conclusion of everything having fully developed comprehension of it in which at, i think what is called the singularity of information end up existing due to our understanding of this actual universe being so advanced that we can say that no thing has escaped our comprehension but obviously that 
if I said before that it was going to take time, particularly the singularity of understanding will probably take in thousands or in millions of years. That is everything that I can say so far. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if if, if we're still uh, functioning. Did I, did I say it properly? Uh, was it even understandable? <laughs> My... <laughs> I, I might have uh, some out trying to, to explain this in my life. <laughs> uh, there it is, basically. So something like that is the explanation, I, I guess. If you can't um, understand it, I am sorry. I I tried to put it in simpler words, but I, I know I failed. I, I know I struggled a lot. Um, yeah. If you give it me like one minute, I will try to come up with a simpler explanation. And I think this is a very well-known concept of video games, for example. This can be kind of applied to here, if if I were to try and take it from that side. And that is, um, in the map that is reality, when you experience something, you bring light into it. And your light doesn't only illuminate things for you, but as long as you have the will to share what you had experienced throughout the map itself that is the world with others you can also see how this particular map keeps being shared with everyone else who holds this particular knowledge so that the more map everybody explores and everybody shares with each other the more map gets the, the more the map itself gets revealed in some cases it happens sadly that because there are so few explorers throughout the whole universe of maps in which we exist, we end up lacking the capacity of always having somebody providing vision for different places inside of the whole composition that are the maps of reality themselves. But at the very least already by knowing what is placed inside of a map and what should be expected to be found inside of different maps it is that we can try to explain or try to know how to navigate inside of them because even if we don't have particularly the ones who discovered those concepts before we can still hold the different tools for which those maps were navigated sufficiently enough so that we can in our own shoes go through them without suffering major losses let's say therefore the more you take upon the adv adventure of exploring the almost at, at this point in, in time infinitely um, existing map of um, things that could be revealed to the rest of the world as long as you're willing to take that the different contributions that you do into the whole structure of society or at the very least into the whole structure of your own understanding about the world becomes so wide in such a different array of things that so many things get also facilitated for everybody else that therefore it means not only you are contributing you are helping towards making things better let's say I, that is kind of another ex way to explain this my idea i think uh, I, I, I don't know that is that's basically it i, I don't know i don't know i <laughs> that is the explanation that yeah it simply isn't rationality it happens that um, we can say rationality explains these things and sadly it happens that no rationality itself doesn't explain anything at all 
rationality simply tries to um, deal with the different things that happen inside of reality and when you are rational you also gain the capacity of being critical so if you are critical you have the capacity of judging sorry if, of judging if something is really worth your time or not and if you can realize that something isn't worth your time or something isn't as real as it should be you end up realizing that this particular idea wasn't mm, true and by accepting that something is not true you can deal with it mm, in the present so that nobody in the future has to find themselves dealing with this particular lie let's say or obviously you can ignore it but mm, it doesn't really mean that rationality is there only to keep um, ourselves conscious from anything else it happens that rationality itself it's a wider variety of things than what meets the eye at first glance. Because it's easier to discard rationality as something that is supposedly negative instead of simply accepting that rationality itself is unavoidable. No matter how much you try to not have it, you can't avoid being rational. Yeah, and also wait. There, there was something about the rationality. Uh, oh yeah, okay, okay, yes, yes. Also, something else that happens because we're rational that gets born. And this one I was capable of understanding when I was talking with a friend about a very similar concept is what is this whole idea of you wishing to destroy what can be God, your ego isn't simply born out of the ego itself. It is rather the notion that you can overcome the different boundaries that you have as, a, as an existing being. In these cases, if you realize that your rationality is limiting you, it doesn't mean that your rational sense is simply uh, trying to prove how much of a necessity it is for you. It is rather that you have a reach the natural conclusion of things in which you now understand how much of a utility you can gain from something and therefore by trying to not have it existing anymore or not having it being so influential on your particular existence by having that being as solid as it can obviously as important as it can by all different means that do exist in reality by having all of that play a role into your courses of action, you can finally set yourself free of the different limitations that are set upon yourself by the different tools that you are actually using. So it means that when you believe that rationality is the only driving factor inside of your actions, you might as well need to revise if that is completely true. Because rationality is simply a um, motor of things. It is another part of things, let's say. Uh, and yet, that is kind of also what I wanted to say before. But uh, I can't talk about my brain. Yeah, I don't know when, but I drank like a, a whole liter of water, so I need to take another break. My bad. Uh, what? Um, give me, yeah, yeah, give me, give me, give me like a minute. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, we're back. Uh, I think I can end this uh, like with a proper final note because certainly, as, as I kind of said before, there are some other problems that might be unavoidable in these cases. Like, um, like I said before, I can't really give you a po uh, sorry a proper explanation without dealing with topics that might be deeper in your quote unquote actual understanding of things so it doesn't really mean that you are in no way whatsoever capable of understanding them it simply happens that if you haven't really dealt with a question of this sort by yourself to receive such information without any interest whatsoever of understanding this and without mm, a desire to accept or to at the very least analyze if what is being proposed here might be true or not means that you are only hearing somebody saying things that are fully out of what you understand so if this makes no sense that might be the first reason the second one is also that sadly if you haven't dealt with the same history of things that in this case the individual that is me the potato has dealt with the explanations that i provided might might as well be lacking because all of this can only make sense if you hold all of the different knowledge that the individual itself who has come with this quote-unquote proper response has so if you at the very least feel like it might be in some way true but can't truly see it as something rational or something that makes sense by itself it simply means that you are probably along the way of finding a proper a proper response but you will still have to keep doing your own work by yourself to see if what you can find can fully puts all of this puzzle together instead of relying on the outside as it happened in this case with me believing that somebody else was going to somehow explain how all of these concepts work when in re in reality it needs to be understood by yourself sadly i wish i had the capacity of explaining it in as many different varied ways as i could but so far I I think those are the most comprehensible explanations I can give in, in this time and without um, spending an hour trying to explain something different. But yeah, that, that is basically it, I guess. Um, I think if it wasn't obvious enough, yes, with that being said, living is more than worth it because living is certainly an adventure and if you decide to take upon the adventure of living you might as well find yourself having one if not the best time that anybody can have because and even more if you decide to take upon this challenge not alone you can also find others who are willing to share it with you and who are willing to go through the act itself of living with as much of an enjoyment as you did so yeah that is everything so far i think um did we did we get anything out of this i don't know i wanted to finish this instead of simply leaving it as i did before with oh wow um what was it why is me i can't believe that i can't explain how um all of these things work now it, it wasn't that hard it simply needed some uh, proper explaining to be done anyways um yeah, i don't know I, I think i shouldn't not not like anybody's really pressuring me but i shouldn't try to um, overstay my welcome in these cases Bungum, if you are there i will sing a uh, well uh, what was it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. If you're not there, this is everything so far. Um, <laughs> ah. But well, at the very least, no. Why are you here? I will. I can't believe it. I can't. I can't.
anyways um yeah i i guess uh, we have to do it we have to sing our favorite song that is twinkle twinkle little star uh, usually you mean the like uh, what is it the basic version no you don't mean anything else right you're not going for anything different that from tuition no let me see uh, But yeah, so far it was crazy to try and explain. It is a. Uh, what is it? Ah, oh, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle. Little. A little? Little. Star. Littering. Loiter. I can sing it in Spanish also now. Uh, and and more 62 songs what uh, I, I want a karaoke version uh, karaoke how long is the f karaoke moment what uh, also wait you to to, what is it to to change your request into twinkle twinkle little star now, from now on you go support of a here it sing the gangnam style <laughs> anyways yeah uh, request was twinkle twinkle little star that's for next time ah okay, okay. <laughs> thank you thank you for the so as I said twinkle twinkle little star uh, karaoke version wait did I activate the sound? yeah also wait 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 I don't know how much of an intensity it has but I can do this wait It should have a little bit of an echo right now. I don't know if it is that much noticeable, but there it is a little bit more than before, so that it doesn't sound like a so basic. But yeah, uh, the request was, as I said before, twinkle twinkle little star. Uh, it has no other copyright, I guess. It, should, it probably is such a null song that it has nothing else to be said about it. Anyways, let's hear. What the fuck is this intro? What the fuck? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I wonder what you are. Up above the wall, so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. When the blazing sun is gone. When he nothing shines upon, then you show your little light. Twinkle, twinkle, all the night. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. When they travel in the dark, thanks you for your tiny spark. How could he see where to go if you did not twinkle so? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. In what? In the dark blue sky you keep, and through my contest. What the fuck? 
boy, you never shut your eyes till the morning sun does rise. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. What do you want, my brother? I just saw the basic as you write a tiny spark, lights the prowler in the dark. That I know not what you are. Twinkle on this little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Now I wonder what you are. There it is, I think. Uh, yeah, those were. Two minutes, almost a half of fucking air. <laughs> Sorry. Of or a beautiful song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Moku. It was... <laughs> I... <laughs> there was a part where it got random out of nowhere. Like, why was such a part, like, so long there? Of... What was it? Nightmare or something like that? I don't know. That was unnecessarily long, I guess. But yeah, yeah, but that's that's basically it, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's basically everything so far. I yeah, I, I still have I still have to sleep. Fuck. <laughs> so yeah, I I guess we're done for here today. We can we can continue this at at another time. But so far for now. We have nothing more to do. Uh, yeah, very, very satisfied with the beautiful twinkle, twinkle little star and with the amazing explanation of stuff that went on. Now, who to read is an interesting question. Uh, what? Was there, was there so many people to choose? Why? Once again, the choice paralysis affects me I like a uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I I guess this is this is it. Uh, once again, as always, I I in this case I I really hope it was somehow understandable. I don't know if it was in any way whatsoever something minimally understandable <laughs> i i wish it was i wish it was uh and well as i said before also just in case if it doesn't make any sense please uh, keep striving to find the ascents inside of your own realms of understanding about the world you will come up with a proper explanation about it that can be mirrored into what i said because it can only be born from your own interest exactly that you can see it being true or not. But yeah. Uh, no more to say. Uh, are, are we are we lying? Oh yeah, we're we are lying I'm missing. As I said, yeah, anyways, we're going to raid. In this case we're going to raid um, Mama Ume, who is playing Project Sambo. Uh, well that, that's everything so far. Amazing, I guess. Uh, as always, also, thanks for being here, thanks for watching, thanks for working, thanks for watching the world, thanks for chatting, um, I say thanks to Shaolin for the raid also, thanks for everything, it is always a pleasure, I, <laughs> sorry if I can't explain myself um, properly enough, yeah, yeah, uh, somehow the world, the world is working, I hope it can work from here on fully instead of uh, crashing like it did before, anyways, as always, thanks, thanks for everything. And, and I hope <laughs> we might meet in the next one. And if we don't, such a very least, we had a great one here. Um, now, yeah, as I said, we're writing who Mama Woman doing the um, project on point. Thanks, everybody, and goodbye. <laughs> and also, how are you? You too.